So I think this is probably one of the very best uses of our money is to help other people know about Jesus Christ so they can one day enter up into heaven with all the rest of us. I think that's the great way to get the best bang for your buck. You're trying to figure out how to be able to use your money in a way that's going to be a blessing, not just to you, but to others and to the cause of Christ. This is it, folks. This is it right here. Use some to bring others to Jesus. This is what Jesus said in Luke chapter 16 and verse 9. Use worldly wealth to gain friends for yourselves so that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. Now, I know I've underlined and emphasized several words in that passage, but this is what I want you to look at in that verse. Are you ready for this? It says, when it is gone. Did you see that? How many of you saw that? Yeah. When it is gone. Not if it is gone. Not maybe it will be gone. It says, when it is gone is gone jesus says one day it's gonna be gone amen and because of that we need to be good stewards with what we have we need to set financial goals now what does he mean by using worldly wealth to gain friends what does he mean by so that you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings what is that all about Well, first of all, I want you to understand it has nothing whatsoever to do with being able to buy your way into heaven. It has nothing whatsoever to do with being able to purchase your forgiveness or purchase a place in heaven where you can dwell for all eternity. That's not the way it works. Salvation is not by works. It's by God's grace through our faith in Jesus Christ. And while we cannot purchase our way into heaven, while you cannot do that, while I cannot do that, there is something we can do to help others get into heaven. And that involves using some of our money, some of our finances, to be able to help spread the gospel so that others will hear about Jesus Christ and know all about this place called heaven. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I mean, this is how God wants us to use our finances, folks. Because one day it's all going to be gone, he says. So while you've got it, use some of it to help spread the gospel, to help other people know about me, so that they can one day get into heaven. I mean, can you imagine getting to heaven and one day somebody, maybe not just one, but maybe dozens, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of people come up to you wanting to shake your hand and say, thank you, thank you, because you were willing to use some of your finances. I am in heaven today because I learned about Jesus Christ. Would that be a blessing or what? Think about that. I can't think of a better way to spend my money. I really can't. I cannot think of a better way to use what God has given to me than helping other people know about Jesus and helping them get into heaven. Deborah, I I walked up here without that strip of uh, tickets. Would you bring those up for me? Thank you. This This is the lottery right here. Yes, right. Right. What is the lottery at right now? It's gone? Did somebody won a billion bucks, right? Here's your lottery ticket. These are tickets. How many of you have ever bought a ticket for something? Sure. What, what did you buy a ticket for? Raffle? Huh? Charity? How many of you ever bought a ticket to get into the movies? How many have ever bought a ticket to get on a plane? All right. How many have ever bought a ticket to get into Disneyland? No, look at there. (laughs) 
If you don't have a ticket, what happens? If you don't have a ticket for Disneyland, are they going to let you in? If you don't have a ticket for the plane, are you going to get in on the plane? If you don't have a ticket for the theater, for the movies, are you going to get in to watch the movie? Absolutely not. Why? Why? No. Why? Ah, you're getting close, sis. Why don't you get on the plane? Why can't you get into a movie? Why can't you do those things without a ticket? It's because all those things cost money. You can't get into Disneyland without a ticket. Why? Because it costs money to get into Disneyland. Do you understand that? You say, well, what's that all about? Well, listen, you can't get into heaven unless you have a ticket. You got to have a ticket, folks. And guess what? You and I can't even pay for the ticket. You don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to pay for it. I don't have any way, and neither do you. Nobody does. Nobody has enough money or ability to pay for their own ticket to get into heaven. You know why? Because it costs too much. It costs way beyond our means. It's a lot more than what it costs for a Disneyland ticket, a lot more than what it costs for a plane ticket, a lot more than what it costs to go to a movie theater. And we don't have what it takes to pay for it. You know why? Because the Bible says we're all sinners. We're bankrupt. Did you know that? We're all spiritually bankrupt. That's why we all need Jesus Christ. See, only Jesus is able to pay our entrance fee into heaven. When you put your faith in Jesus Christ, he gets you into heaven. He pays the price. That's why he came to this earth. That's why he died on the cross. That's why he rose from the dead. And without him, none of us will be able to get into heaven. And that's why we need to use some of our money, not so we can get into heaven, but so other people can get into heaven. I can help other people get into heaven when I use some of my finances to spread the gospel, to share the good news with them. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 13 says this. Paul says, you will honor God through his genuine act, through this genuine act of service because of your commitment to spread the good news of Christ and because of your, what? Generosity in sharing. Circle that phrase, spread the good news, and also the phrase generosity in sharing. And you might want to draw a line connecting those two phrases together. God's going to bless that, folks. 